Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. We are here, obviously, in PTFS, which is Pilot Training Flight Simulator. Now, I bought some aircraft with some Robux, so what I was going to do today was I was going to review the aircraft. Now, I like to test aircraft on short runways. The only problem is that this, um, this isn't, like, you can't spawn the aircraft at the short runway. So, we're going to go to Greater Rockfield or Rockford, which is the biggest airport, and we are going to spawn a plane there. Alrighty, we have loaded in, and let's just run to the nearest plane spawn. Okay, so the first plane I got, if you look, it, it'll say Game Pass above it, is the Bombardier Learjet. So most of them come in liveries like that over there, but this one doesn't, so... I'm kind of sad about that, but other than that, we'll see if this is a good plane or not. I turn the engine on, taxi to the taxiway. Okay, so, um, we are almost the taxiway. Um, well, we are on the taxiway, but we're almost to the runway. Now, this game is super fun. I would suggest that you check it out. There's a lot of different planes and liveries you can do, like airliners and stuff like that, but those aren't available to buy, so I'm not going to review them, unless you guys smash that like button. If you guys smash that like button, I might review them. Hence, I will. I will literally review them. Yes, I will. Um, if, if you guys get, if we can get three likes on this video, I will review the bigger airliners and say which ones I like. Alright, let's take off on the Bombardier Learjet. Now, this is not a lot of amount of runway, so I really hope that this does um, take off pretty well. Oh. Wow. Wow, that's that's really nice. That that did not use that much runway. That, that is pretty nice. Um, also, what I like about this plane is that it goes decently fast. So, if you look in the middle left or like left part over there where my mouse is over there um that is how fast it's going and it's going like 400 knots right whereas if you would compare that to like a regular aircraft it would go slower um but the landing gear on this is really nice um there's no animation um but that doesn't really matter because we're going like 500 knots, which is like really fast. Usually most planes go like 300 knots in this game. Um, sometimes 400, just depending on how fast they are. Or sometimes 200. Now whereas like, the slowest plane goes like 83, so it's like really slow. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna circle back around and come in for landing and see this stopping performance on this. But I like this because it doesn't need a lot of runway. It's it's fairly a small plane. It's, it's kind of like a private jet. Um, and also, the design's really nice, too. Um, I believe that there is a cockpit in here, and some, um, seats in here, but we have to land to check that out, so, I'm gonna land first. Uh, okay, we have... Touchdown. And, um... Gotta run back to our plane, because otherwise it would have overran the runway, which it did, still, barely. But, okay, so, let's get back in this plane here. So, if we look, if we look in here, actually, so, it actually has a full working cockpit, if you look. has some really nice seats. And the cockpit, the, the the joysticks and stuff don't work, but the cockpit is really nice, as you can see, has a lot of detail on the cockpit. Oh, I'm not a professional pilot, so I can't professionally say, like, oh, this is this and this is that, but I do know that this is the altitude increaser, so that tells you um, where the altitude is. Now, this is the passenger class we're going to... Just rock in that real quick. So it's fairly nice, as you can see. So you know we have, I believe, like three 
seats. Yeah, three. So we have three seats, each with an own table. So it's kind of like luxury, I guess you could say. Um, and that is basically, so basically this plane can fit like four other people and me because there's a co-pilot seat too. You can just be in the co-pilot seat right there. So, um, anyway, I really do like this aircraft. The only problem with it is that it doesn't come with a livery, but if you can see, it does have windows and it's very nice. Now. Let's get on to some cooler stuff, shall we? Uh, okay, so I also bought the Hawk T1 Red Arrows. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's like a Royal Air Force. Um, so if we go to Modern Military... I'm gonna go to the Hawk T1, we can pick the Hawk T1 Red Arrows. The Red Arrows, so this is really nice, it's a jet. First we're gonna look at the exterior. So see, it's the Royal Air Force, which I think is Britain. Um, and then it has only two seats, um, a pilot seat and a co-pilot seat. Um, but in the cockpit, it has little controls. I mean, that's a lot of detail for like a Roblox Fight Simulator. And and as you can see, it has red, white, and blue around the outsides with little, like, archery circles. And the landing gear also works as well. So, let's... Oh, also it has smoke, too. So, here. So, it has some smoke, which you can change between red blue and white so you can just continuously do that this is so cool look i'm just making a giant pattern and what's also super cool is it is like see because you can see all the smoke so what we're going to do is we're going to take off and we'll just see what this thing can do so let's see can it take off on this short of a taxiway can it do it oh no no can't but that took off relatively quickly due to some other stuff now, the smoke, you can change any time using the F key. You can use red, white, blue, red, blue, white, red, blue, white, red, blue, white. Anyway, this is so cool. I did not know that it had this. And you can just keep going and just, nope, I don't want smoke now, and now I do. Um, I really do like this. See, and look how fast it goes. It's going 600 knots, and it's still... It's going 585 knots, and it's not climbing. But look, it's going, look, it's going 620, and it's kind of climbing. It's, it, it, it's very fast. And as I said, you can just keep changing the smoke to make a pattern. So, like, for example, if I were to just keep doing this, if you look, you can see all of that pattern that, that I was creating. And also, it does have gear, as you can see. The gear does not have any animation, but if you do look at the gear, it is kind of cool if you look. On the bottom there, you can see it has three wheels and is very nice. Now, it does fly really nicely, as you can see, and it turns really fast, too. See? Look. So, we can just do, like, a barrel roll in this. Well, actually, that's, like, really hard to do. Okay, yeah. So, that's pretty hard to do, but you can do some obstacles with it. So, we're going to go to the obstacle course and see what this thing can do. Obstacle course. Lay you. So see, so here's the obstacle course. Um, so we're gonna slow down just a little bit. But see, we're going through the rings. Oh god. Yeah. So see, it has very nice turning ratings. And if you want to, you can go through the water obstacle course. Left, right, left, okay. And, and as you can see, it is totally fine with, with water landings. It is totally fine in the water. See? So anyway, that is the Royal Air Force um, plane right there. Let's see. I also I also bought the ATC Pals, which, which isn't really a plane, but it's still an ATC. So what we're going to do is we're going to go... Let's do a different airport. Let's do Perth. So, if we go to Perth International, um, and we go to the ATC Tower, which you can see is over there. Uh, 
Okay, so what, what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna go to the Greater Rock is Greater Rockford because there's no people at Perth, so there'd be no point in just doing ATC there. Yes, here we are. There are some people here. Okay, so now let's seven forty seven. But what you can do is you can go in the ATC tower if you buy it for the Robux. So all you have to do is enter this door. Thank you. And it'll bring you all the way up there. Now, you do have binoculars, which you can use and see um, if there are any planes coming and if they are not. Now, what's really cool is that when you do this, and so see that um, Delta 747 there? I know that's kind of interesting, but... Oh, also, I've got to tell you, like, this game does different planes and different liveries sometimes, so, like, it might put, like, a like a Ryanair, like, 757, even though that's not even a thing in real life. But that's okay, um, as long as it's still fine. Also, what's, re what's really cool, and what I'm going to show you, is that Delta 747 down there, I can say Delta um, 8258, um, you are clear to taxi, um, they're clear to taxi to runway 36, um, L, because, you know, you gotta do L, which is that runway right there, um, and so then if I just send that, it'll be in yellow, because that means that, that they can taxi to the runway, and they're all clear, and it's basically saying them that I'm the ATC. Now, what you always want to do is you want to say GRATC online or um, something ATC online because you want to make sure, like, like that Lufthansa A380, like, like, so I want to do um, Lufthansa, please taxi to runway 36. L and hold short. Hold short at runway. Okay. And then what we're also gonna do is we're gonna say five seven one zero. You can test your runway. Um. GR Tower. Is that Lufthansa five? Seven one zero. Oh, it is. Are you kidding me? Um, sorry. Just let me do this real quick. Soup. 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 Supreme. Shivin. You can taxi. Taxi to runway. Yeah, so I'm just saying that he can taxi to the runway because Roblox is really bad with the blurring out of the words, so it's kind of hard to tell that. Um, so yeah, so that is the ATC pass. You have seen how it works now, and. There, this game is really fun. I suggest you guys go check it out. It's PGFS, which is Pilot Training Flight Simulator. And they also have cargo planes, too, that, that you can also fly in. And so, maybe if we get five likes on this video, I will come and I will do a cargo plane flight from here to Perth. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.